tonic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Thank you. That looks really good. <laughs> blend of pot still and column still Jamaican rum uh, that I think uh, anyone is going to love 84 proof uh, all the beautiful aromas that you can get from rum and uh, most the best part is enjoying the aroma and enjoying the flavor as you taste it and uh, the best that we blend in Kentucky from Jamaican rum. Awesome, awesome. Thank you. Cheers, man. Are you guys just selling this out of Kentucky? Is it just uh, available in Kentucky? We got it everywhere. Where, 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 do you, where, where are you looking for? Um, I'm here. Florida? Georgia. Oh, Georgia. You're with Prime Wine and Spirits. Can I get one of these? Absolutely, please. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Cheers, guys. It was very good. Can't wait to get it in stores. <laughs> Our most popular, which is called Kalani, it's a coconut liqueur, but it's 100% natural, so it's really, really fresh. Mm -hmm. This one is made from a fruit called guanabana, also known as soursop. This one is made from bitter orange, so it's like a triple sec. 
and this one is a very legendary and iconic beverage of the Yucatan region, which is based on a Mayan drink, and it's honey and anise. Look here, it's called Ishtaventu. Okay. You want to try all of them, or you want to just pick a few? <laughs> You can immediately taste the coconut. Mm -hmm. Like, and I mean, not just a coconut flavoring, like, I don't know, there's like a aftertaste that coconut is known for, like, if you eat it, if you eat like the shavings, you're gonna taste it. And it's really sweet, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like this. Oh, no, you're fine. It's more natural tasting than other ones on the market, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we just... Yeah. We like, you know what I'm... Yeah. Like, if you've ever had, like, coconut shaving yeah, and, yeah. That, and that aftertaste from the shaving... I find it has a bit of a toasted coconut flavor to it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we slow cook the pulp, so we just use fresh coconuts. Have you heard of one on that? It's a big creamy pulpy fruit that grows all throughout South America. So it uh, grow, grows abundantly in, in Mexico and so we have a, a cure made out of this fruit. Again, it's all natural just using the flavor of the pulp. Okay. Awesome. So I think it's quite exotic. That one's pretty tasty too. It's different, right? It's hard to compare it because, like, yeah. it's a very different fruit. Yeah, that is pretty good. So this next one you're tasting, that's, um, like I said, the bitter orange. That's also a very typical fruit of the Yucatan region. This is 80 proof, so it's a bit higher. So it is like a orange liqueur triple sex. It's in that category. Um, and you can kind of compare it to, yeah, high quality, a Grand Marnier or a You could use it as you would, though. So it's great, for example, like to use in the Lagrina. It's a rated in more Oh wow. You were getting out of there. Oh shit. And uh, this is a great sipping gym. You know, and I This one is strong. Yeah. But so are like if you do a Quantro. Yeah. They're yeah, also yeah, yeah. they're also 80 proof, so. Mm -hmm. So this last one is the very special one from Yucatan. This is a legendary drink based on a Mayan beverage. It's called Ishtaventun, and that's a honey and anise category. So if you go to the capital region of Yucatan, this is on the store. It's like a drink you try with your things. Oh, wow, wow. There's a lot of people like to taste it there, and then it's probably for you. Okay. Off, off the bat, I can smell the the licorice of the <laughs> Very smooth. Very smooth on the tongue. It's balanced, right? It's not too strong in the yeah. honey, the anise. Or sorry, not too strong in the anise. The honey comes through. Exactly. I like that. I like that a lot actually. 